As the city prepares for the possible peak of this crisis, a critical piece of medical equipment is in even, even higher demand now. Hospitals here are seeing two to 300 patients a day in need of a ventilator. But the mayor warns if the curve doesn't flatten, the city could run out of ventilators in days. So tonight, News Force Miles Miller takes a closer look at a somewhat controversial technique, but it's one that could help hospitals make better use of their scarce supply. That sound you hear is a patient at SUNY Downstate struggling to breathe. Their lungs no longer able to deliver enough oxygen to keep their bodies going. The ventilator moves air in and out of their lungs. If you're sick with this virus and you get severe lung disease, you're on a ventilator. And you're not on a ventilator for a couple of days, you're on a ventilator for a long period of time. SUNY Downstate is one of three hospitals in the state dedicated to COVID-19 only patients. It's there where Dr. Lorenzo Palladino, along with two other doctors, pioneered a way to outfit a typical ventilator to aid more than one patient. Last week, he met with FEMA officials in Washington to establish a protocol on how to do just that. It only helps for a small bridge, like if more ventilators are coming. It's not a substitute to ventilate people for several days or several weeks. Usually patients spend a week at most on ventilators. COVID-19 patients can sometimes spend 21 days on one. It's not the ideal way to ventilate people. It's just a rescue to keep people alive until you get more ventilators. Dr. Palladino says two hospitals in the New York area are starting to split ventilators as they await a shipment of them. He says the best way to avoid getting on one is to stay home to stop the spread. Miles Miller, News 4 New York.